Hi, welcome to Clock Shop. My name's Dan and I'm one of the owners here. And today I wanted to tell you a little bit about our traditional wall clock range. Now, when I refer to traditional wall clocks, I'm referring to these models here that chime as opposed to the, the more modern and contemporary round kitchen clocks or office clocks, which can also be found on our website. So the traditional wall clocks, most of our models are either chiming or striking wall clocks. Now the difference between a chiming wall clock and a striking wall clock is that the chiming wall clocks typically chime the Westminster chime or the Big Ben chime that people are familiar with from London, whereas a striking wall clock actually strikes just the time on the hour and a single strike on the half hour. So we have a range of mechanical clocks that require winding, which are the ones that you probably remember a key in the dial has to be wound up once a week or once a month as opposed to a battery range of clocks that we also stock now that chime the Westminster chime and can also be changed to a, a bim bam strike mode as well. So the mechanical clocks, as I expressed before, they require winding up. Now they're operated with three different springs. If it's a chiming clock, you'll notice it has three holes in the dial and that's a hole for each spring. So one of the springs actually drives the timekeeping, the pendulum that runs the clock. One spring is giving power to the chime that runs every 15 minutes. An example going off right now. And the third spring is for the strike that counts the time on the hour. So once the chime is completed, it strikes the number of hours. So for six o'clock, it will strike six times. Another great feature of our mechanical traditional chiming wall clocks is that they can be silenced manually. They have an on off lever and some of them also feature an automatic night off option. So it has a lever inside the clock, you, you push it up or pull it down, and that disengages the chiming through the evening. And this is preset from 10 o'clock and generally resumes at quarter past seven in the morning. In the case of a striking clock, there are only two holes in the dial. So there's only two springs to wind, one for the pendulum and one for the strike on the hour. Now you may notice in our range, that we have clocks that don't have any holes in the dial. Now these are battery operated traditional wall clocks, many of which chime, or you can, as, as I said earlier, you can actually change that to a bim bam strike. They also have other features which include a silencing the, the chime or the strike, or a reduced volume nighttime mode. All of our traditional wall clocks are imported from Germany. The cases are made in Germany and the movements are made in Germany. So the start of the range are the battery operated models. And then you move into the mechanical models uh, that require winding. Now this, the start of the range has beautiful detail in the door of the case with the movement housed in a, in a more simplistic case behind the dial. But as you move into the higher range, you get beautiful detail in, in both the side with side glass, the finish of the clocks, gorgeous black, matte black finish, the, the exposed edges on this case, it may be some other finishing details, some burled wood, highly polished gloss finishes, little drawers in the case. So this is the price actually is reflected in these added details. So the next step in the wall clock range, the traditional wall clock range are regulators. So they're weight driven and we have a, a great range of both striking and chiming weight driven regulators. Now, as opposed to winding a spring in the dial here, you actually wind the weight, similar to a grandfather clock. Now, some of them are both weight and spring wound. So the weight is actually for the pendulum to keep the regular time keeping, whereas the chimes in these clocks are actually operated by springs. Our mechanical weight driven regulators, beautiful clocks, they're often quite a bit larger in size. So you've got to consider this when you're thinking about where you're going to place your clock. So they range from maybe 900 through to 1200 in height, and they're, they're a beautiful statement to have on the wall. Something a little bit similar to a, a grandfather clock or a floor standing clock, but obviously doesn't take up quite as much room. And being weight driven, they also require winding, but have a, a beautiful little crank key that you put in the dial. The, the weights are suspended from a, a carriage that's hung on a cable, and you, you wind this back up inside the case once a week. The length of the pendulum adds a, a beautiful effect. You get a nice slow tick to the, to the clock and there, there's some beautiful details in the weight driven regulators. We also have a precision regulator. It's a 31 day running 
regulator, but it doesn't make any chime. So it's just a, a simple timepiece, beautiful solid walnut case, very, very contemporary in its, in its styling. But the, the detail in the movement, the plates of the movement, it has ruby bushings in the movement, which create much less friction. So it's, it's more of a precision timepiece and absolutely spectacular product. So with the mechanical traditional wall clocks, the, the sound is produced by little hammers hitting chime bars in the clock. So they're a, a set of tuned chime bars or chime rods. And then there are little hammers that actually hit those chime rods to create the melody. And then with the strike on the hour, it's a sequence of maybe three or four of the hammers hitting the, the chime rods at the same time. So that's really exciting. You can actually see inside the clock and you can see how they work. In the case of battery operated clocks, it's, it's all electronic of course. A little speaker is mounted in, in the case and it's essentially just as easy as, as changing your batteries. There's, there's no maintenance. Whereas mechanical clocks, because it has so many moving parts, simply like a car, they will require some maintenance. Manufacturers recommend every seven to 10 years that you get a service on any mechanical clock. So if you think about how they run, they're running 24 hours, seven days a week, often for many, many years without stopping. So there's a lot of moving parts there and it's essential that you actually get them cleaned and then re-lubricated, ready for, for another 10 years. So if you're looking for a traditional wall clock, maybe to create some warmth or character in your own home or a special gift for someone else, maybe you're celebrating a, a special occasion, we've got a great selection of, of wall clocks here at Clock Shop. Please check out our website at clockshop.com.au. Follow the link below and thank you for watching our video.